Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Summer Vlogs. So, today I realized that I never really told you guys too much about myself. You guys have been picking up on things little bit by little bit as we go along and as you watch my videos. So I thought I would fill you in a little bit about me and I guess what I'm like. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> So let's start with employment. For the past three years, I've worked for a couple different online marketing companies as a writer. I write marketing material for other businesses that want to promote their business or look like the industry standard, which is funny because if they were like professionals in their industry, you'd think they'd do it themselves instead of hiring me to do it, but whatever, that's fine. <laughs> There are some companies, I was originally going to do a whole rant about this topic and I was going to fill you guys in on the dangers of listening to reports and reviews online. Um, they are good, I, I still read reviews all the time, so I mean they are helpful, but you need to understand that a lot of reviews are false. Companies pay other companies to get their writers to write fake reviews. Now before YouTube was standardizing their comment section and linking them with Google Plus. This was a common thing to happen on YouTube too. I actually did write fake comments for a company because of what my company was asking me to do. I didn't have much of a choice. It was funny, but in all fairness, you could tell they were fake. I was exaggerating. So I mean, there was one part where I said the company created the wheel, I think. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I can't, I don't want to say the name of the company. Pretty sure I can get in trouble for that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say, to be please be careful what you read online. There are lots of companies out there that will give you false reviews on multiple platforms and you don't know, you never know. I mean, a lot of the time glowing reviews are, like the fake reviews, sorry, are glowing. They're over the top. I had a wonderful time, such a pleasant atmosphere, amazing staff, amazing food. That's over the top. More believable is usually, you know, it was a good time, the, the place was clean, but my steak was undercooked. You know, something like that is more believable because there's the good and the bad. Most people giving a true review give you the good and the bad at the same time, not just the one-sided. Well, I guess it depends. Because I do sometimes give one side and then both. But I never really give an over-the-top glowing review like that. Yeah. So I'm not really proud of that moment. But it is something that I did. And it is something that goes on all the time in today's society. Because people know. Like company owners know that people rely on their reviews. And we read them before we go to their store. And they don't want anything to kind of muck that up for them. So, yeah, I'm a writer, but I guess you guys already knew that. <laughs> I don't think you guys knew that I wrote for uh, other companies. I know that you guys know that I, I do like the, the novel writing thing, because I've been talking about that recently, which is going well. But as far as what I do for a living, I am a writer. Um, I graduated from college in the video game development and design program at the International Academy of Design Technology. Yeah. Would I take that course again? Hmm. That's a tough one. The course itself was completely useless. I was able to use my diploma to get the writing jobs that I have. But that was, any diploma would have worked. I could have taken something that only lasted six months and it would have worked. Instead, I wasted $32,000 on a school. But I met my hubby there and, you know, of course we had our daughter. So I can't really put a price tag on that either. <laughs> so yeah, and I'm sorry guys about not posting frequently lately. I do have a back condition called degenerative disc disease. Now any any research that I've done, anything the doctor tells you is BS. It is so watered down that it's not even funny. I have days that I can't get out of bed and I'm not even old you guys. I'm pretty young 
And I have days that I cannot peel myself out of bed. I have days where I have to walk with my cane. In fact, most days recently, I have to walk with a cane because I feel like there is a break in my back and every time I put my foot down to step pressure on it, it kills. Oh, that kills. If I slightly bend, twist, pull, grab, reach, I am hurting my back and I could incapacitate myself for weeks at a time. It is not a pleasant condition. What I don't understand is why it's not considered a disability. If you can't walk, mm, but that's okay. That That's not my case to say, right? I guess it doesn't really matter, but whatever to each his own. So that's why I haven't really been recording videos lately is I've been kind of stuck in bed and I didn't think you guys would want to watch me cringing. So I didn't videotape while I was having severe back issues. But my back seems to be feeling a little bit better today. So hopefully it stays on the straight and narrow and we are good to go. So my cat is distracting me. He's dancing on the back of the couch. <laughs> so he's got my attention. But anyways, that's me in a nutshell. I love to draw. I love video games. I, yeah, I like to cook. When I'm feeling up to par, I love cooking. I find it to be very relaxing. And baking, I love baking. But I, if I was a superhero, baked goods would be my kryptonite. Yeah. So yeah, that's me in a nutshell, you guys. Um, if there's anything specific you guys want to know, please don't ever hesitate to ask. I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions. Until then, take it easy, have a good one, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.